Ryan's Roses. Uh, let's get to the Ryan's Roses as a public service. Now, I'm actually very enthusiastic about doing something like this because I get it. You, you, don't, you don't want to have buyer's remorse and you don't want to know where you stand. And if we can help out in any way, then that's kind of what this is. So the deal says here, dear Ryan and Sisney, my boyfriend of five years is making me move in with him. It's a big deal, she says, because we're not getting engaged yet, which is going to be a problem for my parents. Mm. Uh, I... Oh, Would have been a problem for my parents, too. Mine, too, but I can't. you cannot live your happiness and your future for your parents. No, but it's fine. Okay, I actually think it's important to spend living time with somebody before you get married. Michael and I got engaged, and then he moved in seven months before we got married. So you knew you had an out? <laughs> there was no out. You, yeah, if you don't... People change when you live with them. If you... Let's forget us. Whatever. Stay to this. All right. He <laughs> says we will get engaged someday. Okay, but my fear is that I will go out on a limb and disappoint my parents and get hurt in the process. That I understand. I do not think he's cheating, which makes this awkward. But I think if he does send me the roses, both my parents and I will feel better about me moving in with him. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, so of course he's going to send them to I her. I know I said this is what roses is designed for. Don't speak I'm too not soon, Tiffany. Sure but I want to help because it's a sweet thought. Yeah. So... Why is everyone so bah humbug? I think he's going to send them to her. I think so, too. So let's, Elena, thank you for calling, and thank you, by the way, for your email. I think not. Oh, my God, of course, Brian. Thank you so much for having me on. Of course, of course. So we we know the story. We, we get the conventionalism with your parents. Yeah. And we understand that you want peace of mind. Are you absolutely sure there's no thought of another person? Like, this is not about that. I mean, I re no. Like, there's no indication he's cheating or anything. That's why it's kind of, like, weird and awkward. And, like, I, I just think, it's, I don't know. But, like, my parents, I, I ran this by them. I was like, listen, like, if I call Ryan and, you know, and, like, you know, said, have him send roses and stuff and do this, can you, will you guys, like, be cool with it? Like, they love your show. So this is, like, this will make them feel better. I feel, like, kind of awkward about it all because I'm like, I know he's not cheating. Like, I know it. I know he's done. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to call. Let's hope your parents hear all of this yeah. and everything is okay. Uh, hang on one second. We'll come back and do it. Okay. Thank you. So this is a different one, but I think it's a helpful one. She is with her boyfriend of five years, and they're moving in together, and he's not proposed. He's stalled in the proposal. Her parents are not going to approve of them living together without the proposal but she wants to have as much peace of mind as she can she doesn't think that he's cheating but if the roses go to her she feels like it'll cause peace in the family so we're we're gonna try and help out and this is happening in glendale elena on the line all right elena here's what we're gonna do uh you have not have you physically moved in yet i haven't yet no no he just asked me and like you know we're we're getting in motion i'm like figuring out, like, my stuff, what I'm going to sell, what I'm going to do, all that stuff. And, yeah, no, not, not like, haven't done it, done it yet. Okay, we're we're going to in the next week. We're going to try and help out and call him. So I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then whatever his name is on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. All right, here we go. Sisney's doing it. He'll be on the line. Be very oh, quiet God. until we okay. tell him. I know, everyone feels that way. Until we <laughs> tell him that he's on the air, and then we can all talk, okay? Okay, okay. Now, let me ask you a question. I just yeah. thought of this. What? If he sends the roses to you, do you want us to hang up or oh. tell him what's going on? Ooh, good. It, uh, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like pretend like, okay, great. Thanks. Okay, we'll do that. Like, yeah, maybe just like a quick kind of like, great. We got it. Thanks. Uh, we'll call you back with, for the address or something. I don't know. Something. Kind of, I know. If okay. If he sends it okay. to you, then just kind of like abort. Right, we'll get out. We'll get out. Shh. Good luck. <sighs> Hi, is this Adrian? Uh, this is him. Hi, Adrian. My name is Gracie. I'm calling from the Fancy Florist. We're actually brand new in Glendale. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm actually calling because we're doing a, uh, an offering for all local residents right now that you can send flowers. They're absolutely free to anybody that you'd like today, and they'll get them by lunchtime. You said absolutely free? 
absolutely free. It's actually a dozen red roses. We can change the color if you'd like, but they're usually red. I don't need cash, billing info, credit card info, anything like that. Just the name of the person you want to send the roses to. And then we can put a note and we can have them delivered by lunchtime today or if tomorrow's better, whatever's more convenient. Okay. Um, okay, I was gonna, I was gonna put a, a, like a nickname, but can I send you like the, the regular name? But I was gonna on the on the flowers I wanted like a nickname. Yeah, we unfortunately can't do nicknames for the actual delivery portion of it, but for the note, I can put the nickname. For the note, for the note. For yeah. The note. Okay. So, well, what's the real name first? Uh, it's Patricia. Patricia. Okay. And then what would be I'm the sorry, nickname? Hello, hello. Wait, what happened? Adrian, your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to know that and understand that we have your girlfriend Elena on the phone. Who is Trisha? <laughs> Everything is okay. Just tell us who the woman is, Trisha. Uh, who's Trisha, idiot? Who the hell is Trisha? She, she's, she's a girl. She's a, she's, no she's a, fucking she's a girl. shit. Oh my god, I can't believe you. I was literally going to move in with you at my parents. They're like, oh my god, is he, is he going to be the one? And you're here, like, sending roses to some other girl? Who the hell? What is going on? I, I really, I don't know what's going on right now. What, what, what's happening? No, Adrian, what's happening is this. Your girlfriend of five years is expecting a proposal. She's moving in with you because she thinks you're going to be married. She's concerned that her family isn't going to approve of you living together. Now she's upset and concerned because she thinks you're cheating on her with a woman named Trisha. What's going on? I don't, I don't know what to say. Elena, I'm sorry. I... Sorry? That's all you gotta say? Who the hell is Trisha? What are you doing? Who is this 